Cool. Um, welcome everyone to this next science chat. Um, yeah, we are kind of the River Collective and we try to bring together scientists and activists and I'm quite excited that today we have two um, River Defenders from Montenegro that will tell us their story. Um, and just as a first notice, we're recording this, um, this set session and we're gonna bring it to the website also so that more people can uh, listen to it later. So if you don't feel like being on the screen, either turn off your camera or make sure you're just not in the screen. Um, but otherwise we're recording it, so I hope you're all good with that. Um, we'll have two presentations from um, Danilo and from Denis. Denis is gonna start. And really exciting because we're actually um, open to applications for the students for Rivers Camp today. So you can find all information on the website and you should tell everyone that you think might be interested in joining to start applying. Um, and today we're going to talk about um, the Lean Valley, which is one of the locations we're going to visit. Um, and we have Denis and Danilo who have been fighting for those rivers in the valley themselves. Um, before we start, I want to give a quick shout out to the team that's organizing the students for Rivers Camp, actually. And I think almost all of them are here. It's Jens, it's David, it's Ellie, Semra and Jess. So just making sure that you know that all of them are putting effort into making a cool program and getting the logistics together. So if you have any questions and you know any of them, you can also ask them. And uh, it would be cool if you can all share that we um, want to find some cool participants for the camp. Um, Semra, can you introduce who we have for tonight actually? Okay, uh, we have today uh, Dennis and Danilo. Dennis, is, uh, they are both from Bielopole. The, biggest town in Montenegro on Lim River, where we are going to have our um, Students for Rivers camp in September. And we'll, ha we'll, ha we'll hear their stories. Uh, first one is going to be by Dennis, because it's the one that, that the fight that is already won. It's the fight for Bistrica. He already shared his screen. And after that, we'll hear from Danilo about Leštanica River. That's, th those two rivers are tributaries to Lim. And um, the fight for Leštenica is still going on. We are, it's just like on hold because everything is on hold because of COVID. <laughs> so, Dennis, when you feel ready, you can start. Okay. I will start with this photo. Uh, this is the... Firstly, I will introduce myself. I'm Denis Mekic, uh, eco activist, and I'm from Bielopoli, from this ta town. Uh, I hope so, and I call, I calling you everybody that went on the uh, camp, that, and hope so that you, everybody will come from here. Uh, I am sure that we will enjoy, and uh, you you can uh, enjoy with in our nature, with clean mountains. Uh, we will learn a lot of about. Uh, uh, Montenegro, I'm sure we will uh, uh, share a lot of experience and I am um, very excited that you coming in, uh, that this camp will be in uh, North Montenegro because North, uh, North Montenegro is the uh, uh, all mountains, rivers, all uh, uh, nature resources are mostly in the North of Montenegro and, and it will be very good. Uh, I will start also with this uh, beautiful photo with, uh, with this bridge. Uh, with these kids, uh, this is uh, symbolically a, a symbolic symbol, one of the symbol of Bistrica and representing the uh, Ottoman Empire and our culture and uh, solidarity between all these cultures. Uh, and this, these uh, kids are one of the, our activists who uh, help us to uh, mostly uh, this our activists and. Uh, uh, people who work for and fight from business, it was these uh, young children. Uh, first, uh, Bistritsa River is the right tributary of uh, big, big river, river Lim. And uh, it's very important for the Lim because uh, uh, it's one of the biggest uh, tributary of the Lim, uh, especially because of the fishes. Uh, and uh, then I will start uh, to explain uh, what is the most important things and what is the uh, for the Bistrica. Uh, 
near Bistrica, uh, Bistrica com coming from Western Serbia and then uh, uh, it's it going to sink and going, uh, coming in the, uh, uh, under the, this uh, B cave. Uh, this uh, B cave is the Jalovice cave. Uh, it's, uh, it, it is the second biggest cave in the Europe. And uh, still people researching this cave. Uh, uh, people think that, is, that it will be the uh, biggest cave in the Europe. And because of this, uh, uh, you can see on the photo how much, how is uh, inside so much big. And uh, be this uh, cave is very important for Bistrica because, because uh, uh, we, we started, uh, we started uh, the a big project, uh, uh, I will read, Jalovice Canyon through which the river Bistrica passes has been declared a natural mo monument. Government started the implementation of one of the strategic projects in the municipality progress and it's concerned the tourist valor valorization of the spiological peril of the Balkans, the cave above Raji Firovi. The state is uh, currently allocating a little over uh, 12 million euros for this project, which local community welcomed with enthusiasm. Uh, and Bistrica then coming from, you can see on the first photo, uh, coming uh, under this uh, 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 cave, and you can see I uh, put the, this photo of Bistrica, it's very clear and it's touristically all, uh, uh, it's very, very important for Bilo Polje, the, our town, and also north of Montenegro. But not just touristically, it's also important because, uh, uh, because, all, because of the villages in the Bistrica. Uh, a lot of people, uh, 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 mainly, I will read, know, knowing that the inhabitants of Bistrica mainly engage in agriculture, animal husbandry, fishing and rural tourism. The eventual construction of the announced hydroelectric power plant would be destroy the biodiversity of this area and the retention of the municipal population would be uncertain. Um, we have in the Bistrica one of the biggest uh, fish ponds uh, uh, in north of Montenegro, in, in Montenegro. 30% uh, of uh, uh, fish uh, we are uh, e exporting from the Bistrica uh, in the Montenegro. And this is very important uh, for uh, this village and people who, example, one uh, one uh, pond, uh, one uh, fish, fishery company uh, employing, example, 20, 30 uh, 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 people from this village. And this, uh, and, and, and on this, anyway, this, uh, our uh, North of Montenegro is, uh, have so much unemployment people and be, a lot of people going from here because this and, 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 uh, industrially is uh, not, very, we are not very good, having good economy, but in Bistrica is, uh, we, we have a, also for our town, we have uh, a very big potential for agriculture, fishery and uh, etc. Also because, the, uh, because of these touristic projects and... and sustainable development, uh, sorry, and uh, for uh, sustain, uh, sustainable tourism, yeah. Sorry for and, interrupting. <laughs> and now uh, I will ask you who 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 came, how can uh, come idea for somebody to after all this uh, touristically potential, uh, this all beautiful place, uh, river, you know, cave, everything. Uh, uh, people, uh, uh, somebody have idea to make the plant, uh, hydro plant here. Now I will explain more about this, uh, uh, how and who, uh, and then after that how our uh, fight started. Uh, with, to fight uh, against the hydro plants. Okay. Uh, the, I will say, main problem in, in all this uh, uh, about the hydro, hydro energy in Montenegro, because of topographic characteristic of the terrain intervened with rivers, Montenegrin government has allowed the construction of about 50 mostly north of, uh, 
north of the country. Montenegro abounds in hydro hydrological potential, which is a theoretical potential is estimated at 10 terawatt. The construction of small hydropower plants is Mont uh, in Montenegro has become business for privileged individuals who are mostly, mostly related or friendly to President Milo Djukanovic or the ruling party of Democratic Party of Socialists. There is uh, 13 hydro plants in operation, which are mostly of them privately owned by people connected to the top authorities. One of them is Jar Poburic Consortium Bistrica Clean Energy, who is majority owner of uh, the company which, uh, uh, which, is, which wanted to make the uh, a hydro plant in the, this river, Bistrica. But before him, uh, Bistrica had the first attack. Uh, uh, before uh, 2012, uh, one Bosnian company and one Austrian investor uh, get the uh, license for to make the to make the hydro plant. But what they want, but, but firstly. Uh, uh, what they actually done, they uh, uh, instead of to make the uh, instead of to make the uh, water capture, they uh, secretly wanted to make accumulation a lake to make make a bigger power. Even uh, Bosnia uh, Bosnia company tricked the government to make the also big hydro plant. I will show you how because they get the li license to make the hydro plant uh, for 70 megawatt, but they, they secretly uh, wanted to make a big, under the, this, if you can see on this uh, their project, under this big hydro plant. And when, when this realized uh, that this Austrian partner who, who give the big money, uh, he uh, realized what, what is the true intention of this uh, uh, company, he uh, they give up, gave up of this project and uh, this this uh, saved first time the Bistrica and also even if the uh, uh, local government know uh, local government know everything about this but everybody is uh, was silent nobody speak even uh, they didn't uh, send the control organ who will uh, supervise in the uh, supervising the works, how they constructing and all things, and because of this, this company uh, made big damage on the, especially on the most beautiful part of the uh, Bistrica, and this uh, caused reaction on the local pe people. Uh, I will show you. This is the first time they. Hydro Bistrica Consortium has a uh, uh, second. Okay. And uh, this this problems with this first con uh, concessionary uh, made uh, it totally uh, change the riverbeds. Uh, they uh, they make problems for local communities, etc but uh, we, we had so big problems uh, with, with this you know, on Bistrica and nobody, uh, prosecution institution, nobody st uh, still uh, today, nowadays, nobody is, uh, uh, is re responsible uh, for this. Also these companies just go out from the Montenegro and, 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 and now uh, after 2040, the Hydro Bistrica Consortium has applied, the, this Jarko Buric has applied for a building permit for the construction of mini hydro, hydropower plant on the Bistrica water course, which is received for cons concession use early June last year. Now, uh, on all heritage, what this first company and, uh, and they want what they done, he take the license and everything and just continue what they doing and uh, he had some problems to find more license and problems but uh, 2019 they are uh, he Jarko Buric and his company Hydro Bistrica he was very close to take the license and uh, 
uh, this uh, summer, uh, uh, last summer in 2019, uh, uh, local people started to uh, uh, be unsatisfied and uh, in that time our uh, fight is uh, starting. Uh, like 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 a uh, first uh, uh, investor uh, also this Jarko Buric on the many ways he wanted to make uh, to believe convince uh, local peoples how he will make for them the example the uh, make roads how 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 this will be good for local peoples how they they will work and uh, local peoples this time because they had experience with this first invest, uh, company what they done in the the past uh, this time they didn't wanted to uh, let again uh, the ev mostly everybody uh, was against the hydro plant uh, also uh, 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 Bilopolia Bil Bil citizens, everybody was mostly against. But Jarko Buric and his company started to, uh, because he, he, they, they knew that it would be difficult to convince now, he, uh, they uh, offered them the, the percent in the, co uh, in, in all that project. And uh, because of this offer, a lot of people, uh, especially people who are connected with uh, parties, government, people who, who, uh, who, who are uh, near these authorities, uh, uh, they started to, to think about this. Uh, and the uh, most important uh, uh, event when we realize what's happening uh, behind uh, behind the uh, uh, back of uh, of citizens, nobody uh, didn't about uh, nobody didn't know about that one meeting which happened. On that meeting, uh, they come to uh, trade to uh, make deal about the river Bistrica, uh, and we 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 under we get that information uh, about that meeting, and I put the, this. Uh, I put this uh, photo, uh, and on this photo is pe this on uh, uh, this is investor and a lot of people who are you know like uh, on authorities and people who who are have reputation came on this meeting to trade with to trade with Bistrica, and he offered them this present, and uh, when uh, it's a. Uh, now, uh, here started our fight. Uh, first thing which helped us to, and first tool which we fight with is Facebook Live. Facebook Live, especially for us, it was important because on the Facebook we had so much, uh, uh, on the Facebook we had so much uh, followers from this or for our, our town and we directly uh, everything uh, record and even if on the start they didn't know what ha what's happening and uh, we show on that way uh, and stop them uh, 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 all uh, citizens in Bilopolje and locals what they doing behind their back and after that all locals 100% was so was so angry and so against everybody uh, uh, more than before uh, about uh, against the hydro plant then we also started uh, 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 to every day uh, send uh, uh, write on the medias uh, newsletters and all these things which help us to make the focus on the focus this problem bistrica because this this was so important because these people don't they their uh, plan is to do everything behind deck to don't mostly local peoples don't know anything about how they planning they then convicting some who are weak spot and 
and because of these things uh, we may uh, we made the bistritsa in the uh, uh, focus of uh, attention Thank you. Uh, when we after that uh, we started to okay uh, after that we know we knew that uh, we can we cannot do anything in our town because uh, in our because in the montenegro a uh, main uh, uh, main decision uh, is coming for to to stop the hydro plant is coming from ministry of economy and uh, we our because we know it that uh, the local government bilo polje will not accept because they are they know this uh, investor they are you know like close and uh, we uh, we started uh, to uh, connecting the ngos uh, we started to connecting the uh, parties activists and and uh, especially young people and uh, we uh, after two three weeks after this uh, uh, happened uh, we we organized the protest and a lot of people come on the protest support us and uh, uh, this was uh, our pressure for ministry of economy we uh, because uh, and our premier of markovic uh, uh, we we uh, th this was maybe the best thing in all the things in all uh, uh, all this uh, uh, story uh, we, which we done because in montenegro uh, prosecution institution example if we if we making if we going just through the law we will not do anything because don't working we are not the co uh, country which uh, uh, which is how to say uh, the, the country of 100 percent rule of law because of that we know it, that we will not do anything and because of that we made the pressure of uh, ministry of economy we called people said them come here we will not give up we will make the 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 critical hotspot and we will make the pressure exactly on the premier markovic and also on the this investor who have the biggest hotel in the uh, uh, pontenegro it's hotel hotel hilton we also uh, uh, take this fight uh, directly with investor and said him if you don't give up we will come to protest in the hotel hilton we will make uh, 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 we will attack on your reputation of hotel hilton and because of all this uh, we we made this pressure which lo mostly in the bureau polyet people so much supporters and after that after that ngo started to support parties all parties started support uh, and on the end local government also uh, support us we had totally uh, we, we get su totally supported uh, uh, from everybody then we come also again to premier markovic and ministry and uh, told them we everybody this is the public interest everybody is for this uh, stop the uh, hydro plant nobody want this this is very and after and uh after this uh, uh happens a uh, lot of also uh, uh problems was uh, very in critical on also on the uh, uh, diff uh, on another ri uh, rivers in plav in andrievica in shavnik especially bukovica bukovica people was so so uh, uh, endure so so much you know like uh, 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 rebellion that everybody was make so big pressure on the uh, uh, the government that after that uh, happened in October the I will now read the government in Podgorica decide to terminate contracts for the construction of ten hydro plants on six rivers in Bilopolje this Bistrica Plav 
Andrievica and Shamik. In some cases, this concept of development, this is uh, the now, uh, uh -huh. in some cases, this, is co uh, this concept of development would miss its goal, which is to improve the quality of life and the development of local communities, which cannot be separated from the pre preservation of unique nature and healthy environment in those localities. Markovic, Premier Markovic pointed out at that time. Uh, and uh, the, this, this, everything happened two days be, and I will, uh, I am on the, the end, I'm uh, finishing. Uh, this, everything happened, they cancelled uh, this consent urinaries. Uh, everything happened two days before protest. Before, before he, they wanted to calm down people. And uh, my, uh, personally, fight start that day. Because I get, uh, because a lot of people tell, told me, Okay, now if uh, Premier cancel this, uh, cancel it, why you will continue to again make the protest? And then I had so much pressure to stop the protest on my family, on a uh, lot of people's court, uh, from government, from a lot of people uh, try to uh, convince me that I must to stop the, the, this protest. But the protest, all this energy and criti uh, 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 critical energy uh, we wanted after that to take and continue on the second river in Vilopolje on Lještanica. And this was uh, everything what we done in Bistrica. Our, we said uh, that we will not do anything if we let the, that Bistrica now is safe and we will not let, and we cannot accept that Bistrica, we save the Bistrica, but they will not take, take the Yerstanitz. And, and this is how my and Danilo friendship starting and how we also starting to uh, uh, connecting these two stories about Bistrica and Yerstanitz and another rivers in Bielopolje, that, uh, that we can uh, continue this uh, uh, I mean, this is just first, we win just uh, one bat battle, but we still didn't uh, uh, win the war. And this is my, the, uh, and this is what I can say about uh, Bistritz and my, my experience in this, uh, maybe I'm speaking too much now, and, and I will let the, Danilo to continue all this, our story. And on the end, who have the time, I made some uh, video, about 10 minutes. Uh, everybody can stay and uh, watch, 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 watch it. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I'll stop sharing your screen now. Um, okay. Yeah, it took a little longer than we expected, but I think it he, Dennis gave us a really good insight into Bistrica and we'll have questions after this. Now, Danilo, the floor is yours. Okay, uh, thank you, Sam. Uh, thank you, Sarah. I'm gonna start uh, sharing my screen. So, if you please let me know when you when you see my presentation. Here it is. Can you start? Yeah, yeah. Okay, great. Uh, uh, so, uh, before all, I would like to say thank you, Samra, and thank you, Vera, for this opportunity to share uh, our experience and to present uh, uh, River Vilaštanica to all you guys. Uh, I would like to continue uh, from point where Dennis has finished uh, and compare uh, Bistrica and Vilaštanica at the first place. Uh, Yerstanica is much more smaller river. It is uh, really far away from Bielopolje, around 35 kilometers uh, from the city. And our community is much, much more smaller than Bistrica community. Also, Yerstanica was quite hidden. Almost nobody in Bielopolje uh, never heard about Yerstanica before everything started uh, three years ago. Um, 
here is some agenda. Uh, I hope I'm going to finish everything in 15 minutes. Uh, my plan was to start about some basic info about Montenegro, then to uh, speak about Vraneška Valley, which, which is the region where is River Ljastanica, and then to, on example of River Ljastanica, show, show the process that leads to, uh, to construction of mini hydropower plants, uh, share our experience, how do we fight, what are the economic consequences and what are cultural and social consequences. Also, my presentation will be about uh, sharing some lifestyle details and lifestyle photos of those local people uh, who live in mountains in northern Montenegro. So, uh, as you all know, uh, Montenegro is one of the smallest countries in, in the Europe. It is based on Adriatic uh, Sea coast. Uh, uh, and so somehow it is be between sea and the big mountains. Uh, here are the numbers, uh, square kilometers. We can compare ourselves with Belgium maybe, or Switzerland, but we should not compare ourselves with Spain, that's bad for us. Uh, population, also numbers, nothing special. Uh, there are some smallest countries than us, like Luxembourg or Malta. Uh, but there are also some bigger cities than us, like Nottingham or Saragossa. Uh, economic indicators, I would like to put the light uh, on this first number. Uh, guaranteed monthly salary in Montenegro is uh, 222 euros. Uh, th that can be interesting even for this story. Uh, social and political circumstances, uh, Dennis told you a lot. So. A lot of those guys, investors, are connected uh, with the president of Montenegro. But uh, this is also information. One political party led the government in the last 30 years, since 1990, and they have never was, lost the elections. Uh, I'm not making any political implications, and I'm not complaining. Uh, this is just information. This is connected with all mini hydropower plant uh, story. The bright side of our country that we love, is uh, tourism. Here are some great pictures from Montenegro. They are very famous about uh, sea, hiking, rafting and so on. But here is a picture that you have never seen before. Uh, those are the pictures of, of uh, River Ljastanica. Uh, so it is a small mountain uh, river uh, in length, length of only five kilometers. It has great waterfalls uh, this is a spring of River Ljastanica. Uh, I'm not sure, can you see? Uh, this, this is a spring of River Ljastanica, a little wooden bridge that we constructed last year, and so on. So uh, this is, this is the, a center of our world, and that is why it is so important for us. Uh, next chapter is about uh, River Ljastanica and Raneška Valley. This is... Uh, Today, uh, I think this is a photo from the last week of Vraneška Valley. And as you can see on the map, Lještanica is somewhere between uh, Pljavlja and Bielopolje. Uh, it is on the north side of, of Montenegro, uh, near to the border. Um, also, some numbers for you guys. Uh, population of uh, entire uh, Vraneška Valley is about 6,000. But population of village Lieska that is uh, strongly connected with uh, Lještanica, and that is the only village uh, that Lještanica is connected with, is only 263 people. Uh, and a lo lot of them are quite old. Uh, so numbers are small, there's not too many of us <laughs> in this case. Um, I would like to share some photos with you of a lifestyle, how it was 50 years ago, how it is now, and, how, uh, and show you some pictures uh, that are going to describe you how much does the river means to us. Um, so uh, most of the people uh, do livestock and wood processing. Here is an uh, old photo of what people uh, do on their fields. Also, the uh, traditional way of agriculture include those two bulls, as you can see. Uh, this photo is quite important for me. Uh, it tells a lot about the uh, way of life of these people. It's not about the position of the woman. Uh, it tells that uh, life in these hills is quite hard. But those people, 
somehow managed to uh, to give a nice education to their children. That can be interesting fact. A lot of people has university degree, PhD, and and things like that. Uh, my grandparents they had uh, nine kids, and five of them uh, have university degree. So from that, this uh, this kind of lifestyle, somehow they managed to do all those things. Uh, lifestyle today did not change a lot. <laughs> uh, this is one household in the mountains. Uh, so if, as you can see, they use some, they use uh, machines. Uh, electricity came you know, to every house in Raneshka Valley, of course, but uh, house and architecture uh, remained the same. Uh, this is village Lieska and the local church and those people are maintaining the area around the uh, around the church uh, also the this picture is uh, almost the same as the black and white one i showed you before this one also from last year uh, you see the the traditional agricultural potatoes uh, and uh, believe it or not this is uh, an elementary school in one small village in Raneshka valley and it has only uh, three, three kids, so only three, three students in this elementary school. Uh, how much does Yastanica mean to us in economic and tourism potential uh, of our river? I'm going to show you one picture. This is one uh, water mill uh, that works today. This is the only water mill on, uh, water mill on Yastanica, so for producing flour and bread. Uh, you see, you see that tradition, the traditional way of water mills, and uh, last uh, 30 years ago there were more than 20 water mills uh, on the Yastanica, and uh, a lot of people from Raneshka Valley uh, produced their their flour in those water mills, uh, and somehow from those black and white photos uh, we came uh, as we start promoting Yastanica as it starts to be familiar in Bielopolje and in Montenegro with Ljastanica. We are coming to the modern ages and of course some Instagram photos on uh, Skakala, on Skakala waterfall. Uh, oh, this is one guy from, from Russian. Uh, last, last year we had more than 1000 uh, visitors. Uh, I would like an example of Ljastanica, you can understand uh, the, the low procedure, how does it go for every river in Montenegro. Uh, here is a blueprint, uh, so this is engineering design, uh, how did they plan to make that um, mini hydropower plant. So the insane idea uh, is to take a water at the very source of the Ljastanica, uh, that, that, uh, that water is drinkable of course, uh, it is more than 1,000 meters high. So they want to take all water uh, at the very source of the river Vljastanica and to construct pipeline that is going to be uh, over four kilometers long. And uh, almost at the end of the Vljastanica is going, uh, going to be a machine building for producing energy. So uh, idea is quite insane because this is the first river uh, uh, where they plan to build uh, water intake at the very source of the river. Uh, this diagram, I'm going to leave a presentation for you. So if anyone is, uh, if anyone has ambition to learn more about this, uh, those are four, uh, five stages uh, of the low process. How does it go in Montenegro uh, with constructing a small hydropower plants? So the first stage uh, and the first problem is that these renewable energy sources are defined as the public interest by the force of the law. Uh, and this is a big problem. We are discussing these days in Montenegro about this. Semra, Semra is familiar with this. Uh, and uh, because of that, because the law said that is the public interest, they do not need any study and they in generally uh, can apply uh, to government and government gonna and to prove only that uh, some river has uh, potential to produce power, and that is only what they need to get uh, 
concession decision to get an agreement. They're going to sign agreement without any study, but the little study that proves some river has potential to, to produce energy. Uh, and what is also important, without any public discussion. So investors and government are obligated in this phase. Uh, that is also quite insane because nobody did any space or special planning. Uh, there are no study for environmental impact assessment and the uh, public were not uh, involved. After that is one more uh, step about elaborate the, all, the, all this impact and second public discussion. Here should be number two, not number one. And the last one is building a permit and they're start, starting to build mini hydropower plant. Uh, here you can see those, those data here is about Yashtanitsa River. So everything started in October 2017. And today we are here, we are still uh, managing to get them back. Uh, and I believe we, we have some success uh, in, in that process. Uh, if they cross this line, all we, all we uh, can do is to block the road to protest in front of the government building and so on, but blocking the road is the best option. Uh, this question mark, uh, as I mentioned, uh, shows you that the, the problems start at the very beginning. And in these days, a lot of non-government organizations in Montenegro is asking uh, from government to change the law about, uh, about energy. It, I believe it's called energy law uh, the article 18. <laughs> so pressure should be done here and those two phases or stages uh, as I mentioned should replace their place. There are no any uh, logic to to get an agreement to put a sign on the paper and to obligate the government uh, without uh, without space planning, without public discussion. So this is how I should like to look, <laughs> how, how I look on this, on this process. Uh, this, uh, how do we fight? Uh, this is my subjective uh, estimation. How much, uh, uh, every, uh, any of these factors, how much that contribute to the success. I believe that acting in the legal system is important. And we do have a several process in the front of the, uh, a lot of courts in Montenegro and it helps us. But the second most important things are protests and other events gatherings. Uh, also the important thing is to connect with the other river defenders. And in Montenegro there are some uh, very successful organizations and local people that manage to protect uh, their rivers. A connection with non-government sectors, uh, little things like improvement of uh, tourist infrastructures like signs and bridges and so on, media appearance, of course, social networks. But the main message that I want to send you here is uh, this whole process need to, you need to act in several fields. It is not enough to, uh, to be here on social networks or in media. It's not enough, definitely. You can be in media every day, but, uh, but that's not enough. You need to act in several fields uh, to, to, get, uh, to get some success. Uh, by my experience, of course, I'm, I'm speaking in my name all the time. Uh, here are some pictures of, uh, of our events. So those young scouts visited us last, uh, last September. A lot of kids came here. That was the, the, the biggest number of the kids in the village in last century, I believe. Uh, why did they come? They come because all those factors before, that is why made, they made the decision to, to visit a waterfall and to visit uh, Ljaštanica. Uh, here are guys in protests in the Podgorica, capital of Montenegro, last year. It was a big protest for uh, about mini hydropower plants. This is one of the first events. So all those people here are the locals. This was their first gathering together and starting to fight. Uh, I was not on this on this event. Uh, I was not that motivated at the beginning. I'm going to tell you more about that. Um, 
our kids, of course, also kids of the locals. Uh, I like this picture. Here is my nephew and my sister with with her friends. Uh, uh, we we do not uh, allow the uh, We are protecting Leftranitsa. Something like here is on this <laughs> big screen. Um, and what is conclusion? Uh, uh, my conclusion is that optimism and readiness to fight uh, are growing through the years. Uh, when we started in October 2017, uh, a lot of people did not believe that we can uh, make uh, that, that we can uh, that we can protect our river. I am the one of them, uh, so uh, it it uh, needs uh, about six uh, six months for me. Uh, to start believing that it is possible uh, to protect a river in those circumstances uh, in the country. Uh, but uh, what can be interesting, at the same beginning, the oldest people in the village, uh, so the people that have more than 70 years, uh, they were the, uh, they, they had fighting spirit, uh, they believe that we can do something, and the youngest was just watching them, okay, are those people insane? Uh, they, they, they have too money. They are they are too powerful, and so on. So, uh, uh, as I mentioned before, Yastanica is hidden, and then almost nobody in Vilopolje uh, knew about uh, that river before. And we need to start it, uh, even to our neighbor uh, neighbors in the next village. We need to introduce them with uh, Yastanica and Skakala waterfall and all beauties that river has. Uh, because Lieštanica is going through private properties, there is no single uh, public property uh, by the river. And uh, later, it was just not nice. It was not. It was not polite to visit uh, waterfall <laughs> because that is on private property. Nobody did that, uh, uh, and uh, a lot of people never never visit Lieštanica. Now it's really changing. In this time of coronavirus, every day we have more than 20 or 30 visitors. Uh, locals uh, cannot believe in their eyes. Uh, so now uh, the, 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 our readiness to fight is growing. And that is, that is the, uh, the something I have learned and that is a most important uh, lesson, lesson for me in these two years. Uh, I also would like to speak about economic and cultural consequences. As Dennis mentioned before, uh, those people, uh, the investors, uh, the investors for Ljestanica is not the same guy uh, as Bistrica, but they are connected and they are close, they are friends. And they are also friends with the president of Montenegro. Um, this calculation i believe it is true i i really investigate a lot about this and there is two and there is two way to earn the money so those are incomes in one year uh, that that is planned for the investors uh, and there are two uh, there are two sources of those of those incomes uh, one is this subvention and we paid for it uh, every every bill every month citizens and uh, entrepreneurs, they are paying uh, f uh, subventions uh, for, that, uh, for that energy. And the second one is that uh, they're gonna sell the energy uh, also uh, by the price that is much, much higher. And who gonna buy that uh, energy? Uh, it, it's gonna be bought by the state-owned enterprise. So on the bottom line, uh, all, all this money is coming uh, from our pockets. And why, why this triangle here is yellow? Because um, this, uh, the, this source of, of the incomes is not so uh, unusual. A lot of European countries uh, also have this source of incomes in their law, maybe not uh, at this price, but this is something that is oft, often in European countries. But uh, all, all, all producers of energy need to uh, sell the, that energy by the market price, not by the sub subvention price. Uh, so a lot of money they're making because that price is much, much higher than a regular price. So total, uh, total incomes are estimated about 1.1 million per year. Uh, whole river should be put in the pipe 
uh, from the very source of the river because they, they plan to earn 1.1 million uh, euros every year. Uh, are they going to buy a yacht, uh, plan to buy a yacht or to visit the Roland Garros or Wimbledon? Uh, or they plan to build a new hotel? I really do not care. Uh, that is that is not uh, uh, we, are, we are not interested to this kind of the things uh, and then then it's mentioned a lot of interesting things about uh, fight uh, they're trying to uh, to to deal that secret meetings as uh, in example of Pisvica, you heard about that secret meetings and all the time uh, they are trying uh, to connect with the locals to offer some money and somehow uh, to uh, to start a fight between the locals and we have a strong attitude we are not meeting with them uh, except there is someone from uh, government or for, from local government so we are not going uh, in the pub and drink the beer with them that is uh, absolutely not allowed and nobody do that uh, and it, that is that is quite important to avoid their phone calls their messages uh, they, they send a friend who know the friend to ask could we could we drink a cup of coffee no we cannot drink a cup of coffee with you that is not allowed uh, this uh, this is the last Danilo, chapter <laughs> sorry can i quickly interrupt because um, yeah, yes, this is i guess the moment that you montenegro and people don't really hold to the time that much um, I don't know if there's a possibility for you to, um, I've been down to interrupt because I think it's super interesting and especially all the context you're telling. Can you wrap up relatively soon and then we can talk about it a bit later, but then we can allow for a few questions before the end of this hour and then we can keep talking with whomever is interested. Yes, yes, sure. Thanks, sorry, because it's super good. So if you have a few, like, I don't know how much slides you have left to. Uh, this is the last one. Ah, sorry, then just finish, please. Ah, okay, okay, I think you have. So uh, this is our last chapter. Uh, I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna try to explain you uh, why, why uh, Lesnitsa River is so important for me and for the locals uh, as well. So this here is, uh, is my family uh, house. Uh, my grand grandfather made it before uh, World War One and we still do live uh, in this house. We still spend a lot of time in this house. Uh, so uh, we live here uh, for centuries. I believe Semra and Dennis too. And that is a strong part, a strong part of our uh, identity. Uh, our families uh, live for three or four centuries. We know every other Asian. And that is why we are quite connected with, uh, with Montenegro. Uh, uh, in this case, uh, uh, this is a symbol of our existence uh, in this in this area, in, in this country, on the bottom line. So Lještanica is, is a big symbol for us. It's not just a uh, drinkable water or economical potential for tourism and so on and so on. Uh, the most important thing for me is the symbol of our existence uh, through centuries uh, uh, here. So I, I, I really do believe that we are not just the citizens of Montenegro. I, I really believe that we are the owners of the country. So if we decide to not build a mini hydropower plant, that is, uh, that is our completely right. Uh, so th that is the first consequence. Uh, the second one, as I, as I showed you before, those photos, the life uh, in these hills uh, was quite hard. And the Lestainza was a, a place of ex uh, escape from everyday hard life especially for the children. They used to work in those water mills. Uh, usually children uh, work in th those water mills. And that was a place where they can laugh and be, be, be happy. Uh, that was a place of joy for them. And uh, this picture, you're gonna see uh, one couple, they seem quite happy. It is, uh, it is uh, 40 years ago on uh, Waterfalls Kakala. I do not know their names. <laughs> Are they together anymore? I have no idea. Uh, but one guy shared that post on Facebook last year. Uh, maybe he is their son, I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, so this was a place of, of escape and you can be uh, happy as you wish uh, in, when you are by the river. Uh, this is a short video uh, made 10, years, 10 days ago. Uh, my neighbor 
uh, in the Lieska send me that. Oh. So this is a great place uh, to escape uh, for him also. That that is that is a last a last message. Uh, here are some links uh, on for YouTube videos. If you find some time, you can you can watch it. Uh, did I spend more than half of hour? <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Of course you did, but that's good. Oh. <laughs> no, super happy with both of you folks. I, I really cannot see the time because of sharing sharing the screen and I cannot see the time. <laughs> I'm also sharing your screen now. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Bo Thanks bo to both of you. And now, Vera, you can start with the last i mean if anyone has any question you can ask or write it down in the chat yeah because obviously it's already seven and that would be kind of time to wrap up but i think danilo and Dennis would be happy to take a few more questions also after um before we move to questions since it's in principle i could imagine people want to just go um yeah, so this, these are the case lists for the Students for Everest Camp Rights. We're going to go there and I think they really set the context and they show that there's so much to still do and that like all disciplines are um, needed. And I'm really excited to actually learn even more about it, this context, but also to bring in a lot of people with different expertise so that we can just brainstorm together and see how those rivers can be protected, not only for the next years, but maybe for the next generations. Um, before we move on, I want to have a quick note about what's happening in Slovenia at the moment. Uh, maybe you've all seen it, but there's um, a lot happening in the sense that there's new laws being introduced and um, tomorrow there is an amendment and um, Balkan River Defense at the moment putting a big campaign towards stopping this law because the law could mean that NGOs actually don't have any um, any um, force anymore, like any any power. Um, so it's really getting to a critical stage and if, if this law is coming through tomorrow then um, pretty much means um, the end of the river Sava as a relatively free-flowing river. Um, so that just as a simple note and please head over to Balkan River Defense website and then you can read what you can do um, from every country, not only as a Slovenian citizen, um, which would be helpful for them. Um, but back to it. Dennis and Danilo, because you're doing the fight in um, Montenegro. And I think that's quite a cool link. Montenegro is an ecological state declared by um, constitution, right? Um, which is a term that to me as a like potential tourist or something sounds really cool. Like, oh, this country is really proud of their nature or whatever. Um, how do you see this? Do you see this term as like kind of empty or do you feel like you can actually hold the decision makers accountable for this? Well, my opinion, that is a plus. Uh, in, by constitution, we are ecological state. Of course, as Dennis said, rule of the law is not our best side. But that is uh, an opportunity. Some good things happen because of that. Tara River is protected, and that is the fact. Uh, we need to, to recognize that. Uh, but from the other side, there is a lot of pollution. Lim River is... Uh, uh, is not in that good position. Uh, I, I'm not sure. We, we are saying that almost every day on television. You can hear that sentence, but decision makers are not hearing. Hmm. I'm not sure they even know what it means. <laughs> Sometimes you know, but uh, yeah, I, I agree with them that's uh, like really important. Uh, 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 argument in protecting nature and rivers for everyone who who is doing it decently. That, that is how they won the first elections. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cool. Um, how does that feel for you, Dennis? Being an uh, I will be honest. 
Montenegro is not ecological state, we, it's, it's just writing in our constitution, but we are not. This is my opinion. Uh, it's not just a responsibility for government, also it's a responsibility for our people. Example, I will give you give you an example on the River Lim, uh, which is one of the beauty, most beautiful and example in the Yugoslavia after the Tara, cleanest river in the Yugoslavia. Uh, now it's like canalization, like everything, what they, uh, example, the garbage, the, the all dirty things is they putting in the, not just uh, uh, also the example of the, the industry, also people, it's it just, we are, we just uh, don't have, we are not on that uh, uh, level of conscience. And I think that problem also is the people. We must, we must especially speak with new generation to, exp uh, to, uh, to, you know, to speak with them, to, you know, change this culture because uh, 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 this is also the, our uh, behaving. For me, this is the first problem. Second problem is that we now, example, I will give you the limb, we don't have uh, now money to, example, to clean. Because the, all these uh, all these problems in the limb, we, we need millions and millions of money, uh, uh, euros or dollars. We, example, a lot of, we have a lot of NGOs who just taking this money and don't Example from European funds or in our state funds, just take and don't don't do anything. And I think that we have big problems. We we can say that we are ecological, but I don't see it. And uh, in the uh, Montenegro, the tourism uh, 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 thirty percent of our BDP is coming from tourism. And I think that if we don't uh, uh, save the tourism, it will be a big problem also for our economy. Uh, this is my opinion. Yeah, cool. Thanks for um, your answer there also. I'm, again, I'm excited to join you guys in Montenegro. Is there anyone that has any other questions? Because if not, I would invite Danis to show the movie that you wanted to share with us. Um, and I would like to thank everyone for joining today. Um, I think it's really cool and I would again like to ask you to share around as we're going to go visit those beautiful places and that we'll be thinking of how to protect this also in the long term. Um, so yeah, Venus, I'm excited okay, to see I'll you. Just because of the recording, I'll stop recording uh, because then we'll have like 10 minutes of freeze frame in our recording later on YouTube. So I'll stop recording now and then start screening the video. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you, bye guys.